What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I know you've heard, or many of you have heard of travel nurses, and that's really a big thing for those individuals that really don't have too many commitments in one place, and they're able to kind of pick up and move and travel because they get to experience just the world, essentially. You know, they get to experience the nation, they get to go from one place to another while still making pretty good money. Um, and I had the question posed to me, is there such a thing as a travel PA? So that that is what we're going to get into right now. What's up you guys, welcome back. Okay, so yes, I had a question posed to me and again, if you haven't done so already, you better go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below so that you're able to actually get your question answered in a video form or just even in the comment section, okay? so. The question was posed to me. I'm gonna put up the question on the screen for you all so that you can see that. Um, and then I want you all to also follow with me on the screen as I kind of go through the answering of this question. So it was asked by Daniel Dix and it says, hi, I like your videos. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> I'm thinking about becoming a physician assistant soon. Can you do a video explaining if, there's a, if there is a such thing as a travel PA? I know there are many travel nurse assignments and I was wondering if there are travel PA assignments. Thanks, Daniel. All right, Daniel, that was a great question. And the long and short of the answer is yes, there is a such thing as a travel PA. However, it's not like what you would think, I guess you would say, it's more so that you're going in it's really essentially just like it would be for a travel nurse. But what we go under is locum tenens. And so what that means is that you'll have an assignment, you go there just as if you were a travel nurse, you stay there for um, two weeks or three months or one month, depending on however like long they need to fill that particular position. And then you fill, you fill that they typically pay you a little bit more than they would pay their like actual salaried person because really and truly, you're kind of filling a space. You're holding that position for somebody that is maybe on maternity leave or just recently got sick and are they're on some type of like FMLA or a disability, um, but they're coming back to their position. But the job still needs somebody to actually see patients and you know keep up with the load. And so that's what locum tenens is. And I just wanna go through here we go. All right, so it says locum tenens PA salary. And so I just really Googled it. Um, here it says locum tenens physician assistant salaries. While salaries for locum tenens PA jobs vary based on locations of specialty, facility, shift, and need, you'll typically earn $85 to $105 an hour. And that's really, really good money, like honestly. Um, so you're making 105 at the max, and obviously, like it said, it varies based on specialty. So there might be some tenant, locum tenants jobs that you will actually get paid even more than that. And it all depends on their need and your skill set. Um, so there's something here, I wanted to go to the Zip Recruiter where it talks about locum tenants, physician assistant salaries, and it says, Locum tenants, it says the national average is $211,000 a year. Now that obviously I guess is if you're only solely doing locum tenants stuff, I don't know if they're coming in and bringing in like what you would do on your regular day job, that really doesn't make sense. But that's a lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. So, I mean, if that is something that you're interested in, Daniel, I suggest that you get on that, um, really start looking for that. I know when I was um, at APA a couple years ago, they had some local tenants, like, I guess recruiters, you could say, that were there. And, you know, I took their uh, cards just in case I was interested in it and just to kind of check it out and see. Really and truly, I knew like I had to kind of stay where I was because I just don't have the luxury to kind of get up and move with little kids. But it's an option for some of you. And then I just wanted to show you the, t like, what locum tenens means, okay? So let's see. So it says, Merriam-Webster defines locum tenens as one filling an office for a time or temporarily taking the place of another. So again, like I said, it's really, you're just kind of holding that spot for somebody. So there is such a thing as being a travel PA. Um, it's really locum tenens. And obviously, like 
locum tenens, I don't know if you knew, but they also work with physicians as well. So there are a lot of locum tenens physicians. Um, I knew some uh, physicians when I was doing my rotation at my or at the current hospital that I work at, um, they would actually go to do locum tenens positions in like Virginia for two weeks out of the month, which was, I mean, cool. I, I think that that's beneficial to kind of see different hospital styles, different working styles. And if you're in a position to do that, then you should absolutely do it. Take every opportunity that you can, like while you're able to, to kind of experience life, experience different um, situations, and I'm sure you'll you'll be fine. So hopefully I answered this question for you, Daniel. If you guys haven't already done so, do something for me right now. Hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps my YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below because you know I do answer them. I do my best to answer those for you. And follow me on Instagram at it on the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!